lads and lassies, is not a fisherman repairing his net. The old gent is Edward Cadona, proud pappy of Cadona, Cadona, and Cadona. Sounds like a law firm, but it isn't. It's a troop of trapeze champions, the fourth generation of a world-famous family of aerial artists. The younger son, Lalo, catcher of the team. 170 pounds of muscle and sex appeal. Not bad, eh, girls? Over here is a boy who makes a specialty of extracting teeth from the jaws of death. Here, here. He's Alfredo Cadona, greatest living trapeze artist. The girl is Vera, who leaps with agility, grace, and utter nonchalance, as it were. Here is a life belt, if there ever was one. It's used in learning new tricks. That little old belt has cheated the undertaker for years. The scene is the practice tent. Happy Cadona has trained with the kids ever since they could hang from a high chair. He swung a mean trapeze himself in his day. Attached to the life belt, or mechanic, are ropes which run through overhead pulleys fastened to the top of the tent and down to the terra firma where old Pappy guides them in trying tricks that seem impossible and at times are impossible. Oh, Daddy, hold that line. And now let's draw the curtain on the practice and ring up on the big tent for the show. Look, way up, 74 feet in the air. The flying Cadonas now offer dangerous, nerve-devastating, death-defying daredeviltry, or something. All right, Professor, music. Alfredo starts things by testing the apparatus and salutes you like this. L.A. Up. Flying through the ozone, Alfredo travels more than 60 miles an hour. Hi. Now watch the pirouette before he catches the other bar. There it is. Next, Alfredo does two and a half turns high in the air and is caught by his ankles. That is, maybe. There he goes. It's a matter of perfect timing, worked out to the fraction of a second. The pirouette. And there you have it. A bird's eye view in slow motion. The net far below is a safety device, but not too safe. Only recently a trapeze artist fell into such a net and broke his neck. But uh, <clears throat> we won't go into that. One and a turn. Watch this pirouette. It's a complete turn and a half. Atta, boy. Try this with the wife and kitty sometime. It's just lots of fun. The same trick from another angle, slow motion. Bend down, sister. Mm -mm. Reach for it, Vera, and please don't miss. Happy landing. Every tumble from this height has the ingredients of death. When a man misses in midair, he must immediately set himself to take the fall. Failure to act quickly means serious injury. That net is treacherous. Here's a trick they hope someday to perfect. A double forward somersault over the bar. Hey, look out! He's been falling for that trick for eight years. Uh-oh. This guy's middle name is Persistency. They're going to try that stunt again, but it'll probably take eight years more before they do it. However, here goes. Hi, Viva! 
Put that among your souvenirs. It's the first time that trick has been done anywhere, anytime, by anybody. Although his part is less spectacular, the catcher really works harder than the rest of the troop. There's no rest between tricks for him. He's old George F. Perpetual Motion himself. Try this on a chandelier sometime. You'll be the life of the party. Now watch this. It's very simple. Ellie! Woof! Hi! Nothing to it. The next trick is a family affair in which all three members of the troupe participate. Vera starts the proceedings with a planche. This is a French word meaning, uh, that is, it means, uh, well, what does it mean? Anyway, here it is. Vera, Vera, pretty Vera. And now here comes Alfredo to complicate things. L.A. Hop! Now watch this, a triple pirouette. No one else has ever been able to do it. One, two, three, wow! The triple somersault. The history of this trick is a history of death. It has killed more persons than all other dangerous circus stunts combined. Traveling through the air like a bullet, he will make three complete somersaults. We'll show it in slow motion. Alfredo is now the only living person who can do this dangerous feat. Here we go. One, two, three. Mm. Wow. What a nice way to make a living. Ellie! I'm glad that's over. And now hang on to your bridge work or you'll swallow it. Here's the thrill of thrills and no fooling. Completely blindfolded, traveling at express train speed, 74 feet in the air, Alfredo will attempt a double somersault, finishing up in the hands of his brother, we hope. A pillowcase over his head and nothing between him and his grave but a blind sense of timing. Professor, quiet please, no music. Here we go in slow motion. Now watch this. Look out. Whew. Hold everything. Okay, Alfredo, step to the head of the class. Lalo, coming down into the net. Alfredo going down. <laughs> 